All right, guys, so I came up with a great idea. I'm going to build a clone army in five days. Um, this is my first time doing this, so hopefully I have some good luck finding stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a great video. Um, let's go ahead and start buying some clones. First thing I did, went to Amazon, spent 500 bucks, got 5 501st, 5 332nd, and a gunship. So I was scrolling on BrickLink, and I found this guy selling ATTs for 95 bucks each sealed. So I think I'm going to buy that for 285 That's not a bad deal. That's three one, like three brand new ones. So I'm going to buy that. Starting off hot, got in some P1s and ARC Troopers, as well as Commander Neo. Big old box from Amazon. Oh, oh my god, it's already opening. Damn. Thanks, Amazon. Here is the Amazon haul and all of its entities. Pretty cool. Next up, I'm going to be opening up all the battle packs and kind of adding the clones to the base place here. Um, I got five 332nd battle packs, five 501st battle packs, and I also forgot to mention I got five of the newer battle packs, the plain uh, P2 clones and the shock troopers. Um, right now, I'm just separating all the parts, getting all the minifigs put together. It was quite a process, actually. It took a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but at the same time, like there was just a bunch of crap in there. And honestly, I wouldn't even say it was crap. There's just a bunch of parts. Um, I'm going to be making a rebrickable build for the 501st Battle Packs as well. I mean, a new Captain Rex Y-Wing was, of course, needed for this Clone Army build. And here is an overview right now of what I've got so far. All the 501st Battle Packs are done. Uh, day 2, I started with the 332nd guys. I was just kind of getting them all out. I did have multiple Captain Vaughns, but what I did was I took off his visor to kind of compensate it, if that makes sense. So that way there's multiple, you know, 332nd guys, but at the same time there's just still one Captain Vaughn. But uh, yeah, that's how I kind of went about with him. Um, other than that, I don't think I got much else in on day two other than building these packs. I know I had a lot, I think, come in day three or four as well. I, I was scrounging eBay for everything I could at one point, so yeah. Uh, day three, I opened up the uh, Captain Rex Y-Wing, got him put up. Next, I kind of started going through the uh, the newer battle packs, getting those plain P2s kind of put out there with the shock troopers. Um, I also did a rebrickable build with this as well. I have a link to it in my bio, and shout out the guy, of course, that I used it from. But uh, I'm going to be making ATRTs with the rebrickable from that. So still on day three here, I'm uh, doing the rebrickable builds of the um, 501st battle packs. I'm using the Legoman 365A7 cannon. AV7 cannon. It's a pretty cool rebreakable build. I'll put the link down below to it. I think I've built it two or three times. My third time building it. Um, I wanted to buy more 501st battle packs to kind of, you know, have two of these bad layers, but I ended up getting in a lot. A uh, smaller version of the 501st cannon, so I just used that instead. But uh, yeah, here's me kind of just speed building it. Um, always kind of takes a while doing rebreakable builds because it's obviously, you know, not properly sorted. And now here's me doing the ATRTs as well. I'll link that in the description below. I only made two of them because I think it needed four of the newer battle packs for them, two, I can't remember. But yeah, I made two of them for the Shock Troopers. Pretty cool little rebreakable build. I just looked it up on rebreakable.com with the set number and uh, found them. Before I got in some of the Jonak Customs or Jonak Toys Custom Clones, I got a new Mara Squad. It uh, has, I think I have Oppo as well. I don't know where I put him, but he, I did get his helmet in. But I pretty much have Kix, Jesse, Dogma, um, and Tup. And then I got in some Clone Army Customs as well. I got in Crosshair and Blitz. Um, I did not record myself buying these. I just forgot to. But yeah, here are the Customs from that. Also had some Grandpa Clone Customs come in. I just had these for a while. Not like I had them in my possession, but I ordered them a while ago. Figured I'd just add them to the video because I might as well. Uh, they finally came in. Just took a while, but yeah, I got these four bad Larrys. In. Day four, I got in another lot as well. It's a bunch of mixtures, kind of. I got this on an eBay bid. It looks like it's got some ARC Troopers, uh, P1 Commanders in it, P1 Captains. I was pretty happy to get this lot. Also looks like it has some Senate Commandos. And I believe a bunch of 501st guys. But yeah, pretty cool uh, haul I got in. Day 4, stop at Target. Picked up a Jedi Bob Starfighter. You always need you know, a Jedi Commander for your clone army. And yeah, for the final day on Day 5, I got in this final lot of 332nd and 501st guys. It also had some 187th, uh, I think a Geonosian clone as well as 5s. 
Um, I was really excited to get this lot in. I think I got it for about 100 bucks on eBay. I wanted it a bit off. So yeah, pretty cool to get this in. I'm really excited to kind of get this whole army built now. Next up, I just got to assemble the army, so I'm just kind of let the video play out and show you guys how I kind of did it. Took a while, but I finally figured it out. And I kind of did them by a uh, legion as well as a uh, type. So I got the planes in the front, and of course, it just kind of follows. But yeah, enjoy. Also, before I forget, I did assemble the three ATTEs and gunship off screen. Uh, it was college football Saturday, and I just kind of built away. But uh, yeah. All right, guys, here's about five days of work uh, put in. Looks like my wallet is hurting. But yeah, here's everything um, to start with. We got my P2 clones right here. These are the regs. MP1, I got them all right here with Jedi Bob in the front. Chancellor Palpatine or Emperor Palpatine to his side because I got the Republic gunship, of course. Um, pretty cool. And then behind that, I got the 330 second guys. I got Captain Vaughn in the front. Um, all those guys kind of behind them. I have extra Captain Vaughn's in there. And behind them, I got, behind the 332nd, I got the 501st with Captain Rex and Fives in front, uh, followed by all the 501st battle packs I got in. Uh, I think I bought about five of them, and then I got seven regular guys in the mail. Um, heading over to the specialty clone troopers. I kind of put them on their own base plate. Kind of just made more sense that way. I got the 91st Recon, Captain Neo right there, Commander Neo right there. Uh, two ARF troopers behind him. Three of the uh, arc troopers the ones that come in the old battle pack from 2013 i believe or 2012 whatever year it was uh, behind them i got the senate commandos followed by five shock troopers here is the 187th guys with the kashik guys uh, i just kind of mixed them all together figured it'd look pretty good if i did that uh, i just didn't have enough to make their own real rank here but yeah pretty excited i got these guys and really like the geonos and clones probably some of my favorite looking clones honestly of course, in the back, we got the customs. Uh, these are pretty much all the custom clones. I got the Grandpa clone customs up front, followed by Blitz, Crosshair, and Barra Squad in the back from Jonak. Uh, all kind of my favorites as well. Really like them. Overall, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I spent a lot of money. Um, I'm going to be selling most of this stuff. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed that video, uh, comment what you like. What was your favorite part? Comment down below saying I'm a stinky butt. I don't care. Um, guys, go ahead and subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll be posting more content, of course, more frequently because I am uh, unemployed. Not actually unemployed. I was just kidding. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed that, just let me know down below.